Hi, it's Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science, Chemistry PhD, Skincare Nerd, and Pimple Magnet. Acne patches, what are they and how do they work? That's the topic of today's video. We're talking about all the different types of stickers that you can stick on your face when you're having a breakout. If you like this sort of video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. There are three main types of acne patches as of now, I'm sure they'll invent more soon. They are hydrocolloid patches, acne treatment patches, and microneedle patches. All three of them will help protect your pimples from rubbing and scratching and keep them clean. Sometimes if you have a pimple, you'll subconsciously pick at it, even in your sleep, and it protects it from things like rubbing on your pillowcase or on your hair. They also help keep an open wound moist for faster and better healing. Depending on the type of patch, they can also help deliver active ingredients to your pimple or help active ingredients absorb better. They can also absorb and draw out any fluid that's oozing out from your pimple. Pimple patches also help protect your pimples from UV light. This is good because then it reduces the amount of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation that can develop. These are brown patches on your skin of pigment that develop after you've had acne. And these can take ages and ages to fade. I have a video all about how to fade these patches, but it's always best to try to reduce how much forms in the first place. Pimple patches are also usually waterproof, so it means that you don't have to reapply them every time you wash your face unless you wash it a bit too hard and water gets under the the bandage. Let's talk about the specifics of each of these three types. Let's start with hydrocolloid bandages. Hydrocolloid bandages were originally used for ulcers, but they became popular for treating acne in Asia. They're getting a lot easier to find outside of Asia as well. These bandages are flexible and they're made of a water attracting material on a thin plastic membrane. There's adhesive on the other side of the water attracting material, so you stick it onto your skin with the water attracting material facing down. The tough plastic outer film is usually made of polyurethane and this helps keep everything in place. It's also waterproof, so it stops water from evaporating from your wound and keeps it moist. This helps it heal faster and the new skin that forms is more supple and flexible, so it doesn't feel tight and stretched out. The plastic film also protects the wound against rubbing and scratching, and it helps stop the water attracting material from absorbing water from the atmosphere. You want it to mostly absorb water from your wound. The water attracting material is usually made of carboxymethylcellulose, pectin, or gelatin, or a combination of these. These materials are really good at attracting and holding onto water, and so it helps draw fluid out of your pimple. They're basically just humectant moisturizers strung together into a giant solid chunk of humectant. As fluid goes into the bandage, it turns into an opaque white color, and so you get this very satisfying white spot. What's good about hydrocolloid bandages? There are actually quite a few studies on the benefits of hydrocolloid bandages on open wounds, but there's only one on acne. They found that putting 3M acne dressings on pimples, changing them every two days, reduced the severity of acne. It also reduced redness, oiliness, and dark pigmentation. And this was compared with skin tape, sort of like the paper tape that I used to measure the size of my face. The downside of hydrocolloid bandages is that they're a little bit pricier than other acne treatment patches. They also tend to be thicker than acne patches, and this gets even thicker when they absorb more liquid. A few tips for using hydrocolloid bandages. You can buy bigger bandages, which are intended for use on wounds, and cut them up into smaller shapes. You can use scissors, or you can use a hole punch. There are thinner hydrocolloid bandages that you can buy that tend to stick on and stay on a bit better. They also blend in a bit better if you want to wear them out during the day. When you're buying hydrocolloid bandages, be really careful. They look almost the same as acne treatment patches, so make sure it actually says hydrocolloid on the package. I've heard some people say that hydrocolloid bandages work fine on intact pimples for them. Personally, for me, I found that it works better if I've lanced the pimple first, so I've poked a little hole in it. You can see some tips on how to safely squeeze a pimple in another video that I've done. I've linked it in the description. The second type of acne patch is the acne treatment patch. These contain active ingredients that are delivered to the pimple while it's on. The most common active ingredients in these are salicylic acid and tea tree oil, which are both great for pimples. These look a lot like hydrocolloid bandages. Basically, they're like the hydrocolloid bandage minus that hydrocolloid layer plus the acne ingredients. They usually end up being a lot cheaper as well. The benefits of these acne treatment patches, because they're occluding the skin, 
They help your skin absorb ingredients better than if it's open to the air. The patch also keeps the active ingredients right on the spot where your pimple is so it doesn't get rubbed off or moved around on your skin. Like with the other patches, it helps protect your pimple from rubbing and scratching. It also keeps your pimple moist so that it heals faster, plus it keeps it clean. The disadvantage of acne treatment patches is that if you haven't kept the area clean or if you're sensitive to any of the active ingredients in the patch, then your reaction will be amplified because of that occlusive covering. One time I stupidly used one on a pimple right before a wedding and overnight the pimple became three times its size. So the moral of the story there is try the patch before it's an important event. A few tips for using acne treatment patches. Make sure your skin is clean underneath the patch before you put it on. It will stick on better, plus it'll reduce the chance of you sealing something irritating onto your skin. Even though the active ingredients in the patches are usually quite similar, they still perform quite differently, so make sure you read some reviews before you try buying some. When you're buying it, again, they look a lot like hydrocolloid patches, so make sure you check which one you're buying. Acne treatment patches will usually have the active ingredients somewhere in the description, plus they'll be a fair bit cheaper than hydrocolloid bandages. Finally, dissolving microneedle patches. These are the newest, fanciest ones on the market. These are sticky bandages that have a water-soluble chip on top. This chip has lots of little microneedles on it. Think of it like a specially shaped chip of sugar that's embedded with active ingredients. Again, the active ingredients in these are things that you usually find in acne spot treatments, so things like salicylic acid, niacinamide, antioxidants, and hyaluronic acid. In some of these, the sticky bandage is also a hydrocolloid bandage too. The key idea with these is that the microneedles can get beyond the skin barrier, the stratum corneum, this top layer of skin that acts as a really good barrier to any active ingredients that you put on. The microneedles get past this so that the active ingredients can get to the pimple where they're needed. This is what the microneedles look like up close. Please excuse my shaky camera work, it is a microscope so every time I wiggled it shows up like a giant wiggle. The shape and length of the microneedles depends on the specific brand and product that you're using. Some needles are round, some are square, some are even cross shaped. It takes about two hours for the microneedles to dissolve in the water that's naturally already present in your skin. These microneedles might look really pointy and scary, but these are massively zoomed in. You can see relative to my finger, they're really tiny and they don't go in very deep at all. You might have seen people use derma rollers and there's lots of blood and pain involved, but the microneedles in these patches are a lot shorter, and so they don't reach deep enough to draw out any blood or cause any pain. In terms of comfort, usually it doesn't really feel like much, it feels a little bit stiff and rough until you get used to it, and I think mostly that's just because you've got this hard chip stuck to your skin. The biggest advantage of these microneedle patches is that they can get through the stratum corneum, and so they deliver active ingredients a lot more efficiently. Active ingredients also last a lot longer in microneedle patches than in, say, a water-based serum, and so things like antioxidants are more likely to still be active when you apply it. The biggest disadvantage of these is that they tend to be really expensive, and that's because there's just a lot that goes into making these. There's also a lot of packaging involved with these because the microneedles are quite fragile, they need to be protected from getting bumped against before you put it on your skin. They also need to be protected against moisture in the air because then they'll just start dissolving, and so usually they're packaged individually or in small packets with some sort of water absorbing desiccant. A few tips for using these, again make sure your skin is clean before you put them on, and make sure it's also dry so that the microneedles can actually get through your skin before they start dissolving. It's recommended that you use these at the very first sign of a pimple. I've personally found these most effective on medium depth pimples, not the really really deep cystic pimples that you sometimes get under the skin. Usually it's with pimples that come to a head after a few days. When I use these, I can actually see the pimples stop growing after a few hours, and it works even better overnight. Which one I prefer really depends on the type of pimple I have. This might be completely different for you, this is just from my personal experience. If I have a pimple that's got lots of fluid or pus, then I go for the hydrocolloid bandage because it's capable of absorbing all the fluid without just sliding off. 
If I have a really nasty, medium depth pimple, then I go straight for the microneedle patches. I usually save these for the nastier pimples because they are a bit more expensive, so I try to be a bit more sparing when I use them. I haven't had great luck with acne patches, but I know other people have. I would personally use them on slightly smaller, less inflamed pimples that I feel like don't really deserve a microneedle patch. I think the most important thing when you're using these is to make sure you clean your skin really well before you apply it on. I've listed a few brands of acne patches that I've tried in the caption. I haven't tried a ton of them, so please leave me a comment if you have any recommendations, if you have really strong feelings about a particular product. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be great if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Lab Muffin Beauty Science, and you can check out my blog for lots and lots of content on beauty science. See you next time.